And the last two Marvel movies I got, well, three. I got Daredevil, the director's cut. I'm going to do a podcast for this sometime. So I'm going to put that one away. There. And X-Men, which I just did the, a podcast for, I think, last year. for the Last year or two years ago for the 20th anniversary uh, during the pandemic. Still really good, even though it's short. It was a movie for its time. Hopefully the MCU X-Men will be way better and more colorful. And X2, X-Men United. Going to do a podcast for that too. So that's the Marvel stuff. Now we get to the DC stuff. We have a lot of it. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Freaking classic animated movie. It did not deserve the bomb. This animation still looks great. The Joker is amazing. The Phantasm is a cool design. The twist, I didn't see it coming. I saw this when I was like eight, so, or nine, and I didn't expect that twist. The original Batman, 1989. Without this, we would not have the Batman this year. This is a classic. It's almost 40 years old. You know, it still holds up really well, and it's still one of the best Batman movies. Justice League, Doom. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. It's not for kids. It's a PG-13. There's a lot of blood in it for a PG-13 animated film. Superman, Unbound. Pretty decent, underrated film. With the real Superman, not that emo Zack Snyder thing. This made me cry. Super, The Death of Superman. The, this is the 2018 version. This made me cry because I knew what was going to happen. I read the comic. I know Doomsday was going to kill him at the end. It's so emotional. It, hit, it hits really, really hard. The Dark Knight Returns. This is the second part. I need to get the first part. Because this was really good. It feels incomplete without the second part. Or without the first part. I think Joker here is kind of weak though. His laugh is not as good as the Mark Hamill. And he's just too flamboyant for me. He should have been more like the Joker that I love. The Superman film collection. All four, five movies. Superman 1, 2, 3, and Superman Returns. Superman 1. Special edition. The D Richard Donner cut of Superman 2. Superman 3. 4 shit. And then Superman Returns, which I still enjoy. As long as it is, at least it gave me what I wanted. Teen Titans, the Judas contract. It's pretty decent. I saw this last year, I believe, and it's got some good characters and good moments. And it's not a freaking CW drama. It's only 84 minutes long, so it's pretty good. I've also seen Teen Titans versus the Justice League. I saw that one as well. I don't own it because they stole the, the disc was missing. All-Star Superman, downbeat, but really, really well done, really well acted, great animation, and uh, the somber ending leads, uh, you know, you crying. Batman and Superman, yeah, this is a Superman and Batman Public Enemies and Apocalypse. Both discs in there. Justice League. Gods and Monsters. Pretty good. Uh, definitely different from the other Justice League movies I've seen. But still respects the lore and has some different ideas. So it's not just the same thing you're getting. Justice League Throne of Atlantis with Aquaman. Awesome. Green Lantern. First Flight. No, not the 2011 movie. I don't own that anymore. This is the good version and I also like Emerald Knights, and even Beware My Power was pretty decent. I've reviewed it this year. It's a pretty good movie. I really like this one a lot. And i got to rewatch some of these, do podcasts for them before next year's DC Rump, because all we got left is Black Adam. And speaking of Black Adam, Lego Shazam! Magic and Monsters with Black Adam, who we're going to see in October. Because Shazam got pushed to next year thanks to that stupid Avatar sequel. But this is coming out. So... I can, I, I can, do, did I do a podcast for this? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Batman Ninja. Awesome anime. Really good cast. I know there's a Japanese version. I haven't seen it yet. This is the American version. Tony Hale's a great Joker. Batman and Harley Quinn. Yeah, this was weird, but it had its moments. I didn't think it was that bad. It's definitely not as annoying as some other Harley Quinn versions I've seen. Son of Batman. Yeah, this is underrated. I don't think it's that bad. Damien is kind of a dick, but that's kind of how he is in the comics. I mean, he thinks he knows everything, and he's a kid, and he's kind of a killer. 
but I like Batman in it. Batman Unlimited, Animals Instincts. It's a pretty good underrated movies. You know, they, they have their moments and they have tech of mech suits, which is pretty cool. DC Superhero Girls. Don't laugh at me, guys. I think these girls are cute. Uh, it's, it's for little girls, but, you know, it's still DC. Legends of Atlantis. Look at those cute designs. You, how could you hate something this this pretty? I like girls, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not sorry. There's a double bill of the other DC superhero girls on one disc. Intergalactic Games and Hero of the Year. Very, very, very cute. I do prefer the other one because it's more funny, but this one is pretty sweet, cute, and it's family friendly. It's not gay or anything. Uh, DC superhero girls Brain Drain. Wonder Woman's in the front. She's cute. There's my favorite, Supergirl. And they do the characters justice. I still think Bumblebee is the cutest in the uh, in the, D the other D DC Superhero Girls. This is Superhero Girls Super Villain High. It's, uh, is that, uh, that... I think that's Jessica Cruz's Green Lantern, right? Yeah. Justice League, Attack of the Legion, and Justice League vs. Bizarro League. Double bill. They have a lot of these movies at the dollar store. So if you have a Dollar Tree near you, look really hard. You'll, try, you'll find some of these films. Justice League, Gotham City Breakout. Pretty fun. I love these characters. I think The Flash is in this movie, I, I believe, but I don't know. Here's another Batman Unlimited. This is the... Mechs and Mute versus Mutants. The 1966 Batman. Yes, I know you hate this, Josh, but this is what I grew up with. I grew up with the 60s show. It was the first time I saw Batman before the 89 film and the animated series and the Nolan films and, of course, The Batman, which came out this year. Adam West is still one of the funniest Batmans. Yeah, Lee Merriweather is not as good as Julie Noir, but she's sexy. And she looks good in the cat suit. I can say that as much. And the other villains are a ton of fun. It's campy, but in, I know what it is. I can comprehend stuff. There's a big criminal brain right in there. Yeah. And that's why I can use it. ADHD doesn't prevent that. The Dark Knight. Great, but overrated. Way too long. I think the Batman is better. Even though that's also way too long. Mainly because he doesn't do that voice. And... Robert Pattinson, I thought, did it, pulled it off better. It's, I know, I know, I never thought I would say that, but this is a good movie. I saw this in the theater. It still holds up the action, the score, the most of the acting, but that that stupid voice, it's it's painful to watch. And Joker, yeah, one of the best Jokers ever with uh, Heath Ledger, even though I miss him a lot, you know. Uh, but we do have Joaquin Phoenix now, and I'm very happy about that because Leto let me down. He was awful, but at least this, it's still good though. Don't get me wrong, it's still a good movie. I wouldn't own it if I thought it sucked. Batman Returns. I do prefer this a little bit more. It's shorter, and, you know, it's a great Christmas movie. Super dark. Doesn't care, because you don't always have to care. And Tim Burton just, he delves into the into the darkness in this movie. Penguin is really good, and I love Catwoman here. So sexy. Where's Batman Begins? Well, I don't own it. It's my sister's, and also The Dark Knight Rises. That's why I don't own those. They're not mine. Batman Superman movie and Batman vs. Dracula. Good double bill. The Batman and Superman movie is pretty short. It's only about an hour without the end credits. It's basically a Batman and Superman movie just spliced with the two parts. And Batman vs. Dracula I remember enjoying. And finally this three pack. Well, I already showed you Green Lantern. This one has... I put Instead I put Assault on Arkham... Batman, that was on Blu-ray, I forgot to show it, Doomsday, Superman Doomsday, and Justice League The New Frontier. See, I'm a Marvel and a DC fan. I can't hate one over the other. They both have their flaws, and they both have their great uh, content. So that's my collection of DC and Marvel stuff. The rest of it I showed on Blu-ray, or they belong to my sister. But that it's a lot of comic book stuff. See, I'm still into it. I'm not going to give that up. No matter how bad... The CW shows have been this year or, you know, some of the DCU's movies getting delayed, canceled, or just, you know, getting, uh, you know, released this year. But, hey, i got time. we got four months left. Let's make them count. So, thanks for watching. Take care. And I will see you guys in the next one.